Whoo! It is cold out there. Well, here in Ohio, it has been absolutely nuts. It's been, uh, we had 68 degrees, 58 degrees, and then now it's uh, just getting brutally cold. Uh, and we're here, you wanna say we're making hay when the sun shines, but uh, yeah, I'm not so sure the sun is shining. I uh, just wanted to get on here and uh, just do a quick little live. I know it's been uh, just a little while, but uh, there's been a lot going on here around the farm and uh, just kind of want to get everybody updated um, as to what we're doing. Let me see if I can work this thing. Let's see. Let's see here if I can see what's going on. Uh, let's see if you're tuning. Hey, Wayne's honeybees. Okay, I think I'm still going. Um, somebody give me a, um, a comment. Let, say, uh, let me know that you guys can see me. Just say, uh, can see you, yes, uh, something like that. We're here at the farm today, Nature's Image Farm here in Hopewell, Ohio. And uh, I don't have the best of service here yet. And we're hoping to fix that. Uh, hey, Don Bearden, how's it going? Um, we're up here in Ohio. Uh, it's it's been tricky. Greg, you're in a small box. Is that is that bigger? Let's see. Orientation is locked. Ricky, I'm not really good at these things. Uh, Ken from Alabama. Hey, Ken. Nice to see you in here. Slow. Yes. Yeah. We're um. Well, the 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 big news is, man, we are growing. Uh, we weren't really expecting uh, things to boom like they did. And I know we've talked about it a little bit. Um, unfortunately, last night I missed uh, the stream team live chat, couldn't get on there. I uh, got a call from the concrete guy uh, and he stopped out to see the site. And then, so what does that mean? Greg's on a mad dash uh, to Lowe's for the third time that day uh, to get the last few things. But um, let me, uh, I'll walk you around here. Let me show you quickly kind of what's going on here. Um, the learning yard uh, here at Nature's Image Farm. We're gonna try to uh, see if this thing will reconnect. Let me, let me step outside here. Okay, if you guys can see me, uh, someone shoot me a comment and say, uh, you can see me now. My, I, our connection out here is not real good, but I wanted to show you something really cool. Um, so we're just gonna keep on going with it there. Let's see, okay, the live ticker's going. So, uh, if you guys, hopefully you guys can see me. Sorry about the connection issue here. Uh, like I mentioned, we're here at, at Nature's Image Farm. Oh, thanks, Ken. Okay, good good to go. Yeah, inside of these metal buildings, I mean, it just, it cuts whatever signal you do have. Um, we've been busy here at the farm all year raising bees and, uh, and spending time with folks, uh, helping teach uh, good, common sense, practical beekeeping. And I tell you, it's, it's really exploded. Uh, and we outgrew the first building here uh, that we put together last year. We, out, we outgrew it and meet day one. We were so packed in there, it was standing room only. Uh, and so now, here we go, I'm gonna show you what we're up to. Check this out. Let's see if I can uh, flip my camera around. So we're going into a much bigger space here. We've got, uh, right now I got my son Jake is on the little tractor uh, compacting all the stone because tomorrow's the big day tomorrow we're getting concrete uh, and we're going to really turn this building uh, into a an incredible learning opportunity hands-on learning uh, classroom learning um, but also a supply shop we're going to fill this with all of the really cool supplies uh, that we use that we believe in that are from great companies uh, that really want to support good beekeeping so we're excited to fill this thing up with some great products including some uh, uh, Premier Foundation, all do Pura frames, Pura cell foundation, the Pura hive bodies. Uh, those are awesome. We're gonna have, of course, our Larabi's vaporizers, lots of other lines of products in here, uh, but we're only gonna support and supply uh, the ones that we believe in, the ones that we use, the ones that we can actually speak to. But uh, here's what, that's what we have going on. Today, we're getting all the grading done uh, and getting ready for uh, tomorrow, the big day. It's always a big day when you have concrete coming. And uh, Don, the question is, is it warm enough to pour concrete? Uh, it is. Uh, tomorrow's gonna be in the 40s, and uh, we're, we're gonna look pretty good. We're gonna have the highs, I think the, the low 50s, and then down in the 40s. 
Uh, so it will be warm enough. Uh, the weather's looking actually really good. No rain, um, and it's, it's going to be a pretty decent day for that. So um, the next day, we're going to get rain. Um, so if you, if you poured concrete or been around it, uh, that's not a bad thing the day after a pour. So we'll keep that slab hydrated um, as it's cooking off there. But uh, that's kind of what we're up to. Uh, hey, Wildwood Honey Bee Farm, uh, nice to see you in here. Um, you know, the thing is, is you just don't expect things to grow so quick. Um, and then when they do, you're kind of forced with, well, what do we do? Do we stay where we're at? Um, or do we kind of have some growing pains? Do we make some moves as uncomfortable as they might be? That's what we've chosen to do. We're, uh, we're, gonna, we're growing, we're expanding, uh, and really excited about what we've got going on here. Um, let me show you this here. So Jake is uh, compacting uh, all these 57s to get that substrate nice and tight uh, for the concrete. Of course, we'll put our vapor barrier down here. Um, after that, we're, got some, we're cutting some, some drainage lines uh, to keep our water moving away. But what's cool here about the learning yard is it, uh, it is not just, it's not about us. It's not about, you know, those things. It's about connecting people with each other, uh, getting people in touch with bees, being there to kind of support each other. Um, that's... That's what it's about. It's about being the lighthouse to others. For us, uh, being the lighthouse is beekeeping. Bees are the conduit um, to people, and we can just share um, our experience in life and with beekeeping with them. I mean, it's a win-win situation here. But uh, let me just show you here. I saw Ricky Rorick from Horizontal Bees has just jumped on here. And uh, here's, here's the learning yard. It's still a little too cool for them uh, to be out uh, today it's about 41 degrees um, so definitely a little bit too cool for him but Ricky there she is the lighthouse I've boy I've really enjoyed this one this year it's been a lot of fun um, seeing all the things kind of going on with this but um, we haven't really been able to put a lot of videos out lately um, I hope you all understand it's, it's been just absolutely nuts um, trying to get a building dried in um, at this time of year when we just well truth be told you know how many other projects are going on right now that like here for instance here's the sawmill shed that still doesn't have a roof or walls the sawmill is still not put together um, there's so many things here at the new farm that just are that haven't had time to get to yet because we've been focusing on the bees if Susie's watching this wow at home we just about got the, the house addition done and that there's some there's just always so much to do it's always um you know it, it is fun uh, prioritizing what gets done but um i just wanted to share with you guys kind of what's what's going on here um here's the learning yard we're looking good and uh of course you can still see way out there on the hill we've got hives kind of all the way around the ridge here but uh anyways i just want to go jump on here go live real quick uh, just to kind of fill you guys in on uh, what's been going on. If you just tuned in, I'm just doing a quick walk around, just, just right around the building here, just to show you uh, some of these exciting news, these things that we're up to here. You can see the, the first iteration of the uh, supply shop. We just, we outgrew it immediately. Um, and so now we're into a 64 by 46, and we're uh, looking forward to getting this thing finished out for folks. To, uh, to be able to not only provide supplies, but provide an education, uh, and more importantly, the community. That's what it's about. It's about the people. The bees are the conduit to the people, and this is gonna be another fun place to do it. This is gonna be the kind of place where, wh whether you're a YouTuber, uh, a brand new beekeeper, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter how experienced you are. It doesn't matter how good of a beekeeper you think um, you are or you're not. This is all about, uh, it's just about getting people hooked up, get them connected, coffee, donuts, let's talk about bees. We're building a community here. It's a part of a movement. This is not a bee club. Um, this is not anything like that. This is a place where folks uh, can come, they can learn, they can fellowship, we can build that community. Um, that's what it's all about. Uh, if you're watching this video, if you're a military veteran, these opportunities are free for all military veterans. The learning yard is absolutely free for all the folks who buy bees with us too. There's a little way that we can support you uh, for, su for supporting us. So really do appreciate that. Uh, I'm, getting, uh, I'm getting the eye from the, from the boss here. I think I need to get back to work here and start hand raking some of these 57s around to get that grade, right? But so 
I'm gonna get back to it here. I just wanted to bring you guys along, show you kind of what we're up to. I really appreciate you guys. Uh, you know, I'm sorry we haven't had a lot of time to get videos out and that we missed a live chat last night. I know you guys will understand. Uh, you'll see why as the story kind of unfolds. But here's, here's ground zero. Here's the beginning. I wanted you to see it uh, before it really takes off. I appreciate you watching. As always, remember to be the lighthouse and be the change that you want to see in this world. We'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.